our home, the universe, was born about 13.7 billion years ago in a massive expansion. It only took just a bit more than 7 days for the universe to form. This is the Big Bang, a theory accepted by all cosmologists and physicists. One evidence for this explosion is that the universe is still expanding even now at an ever accelerating rate. This extension is known as the dark energy. Another great evidence is the cosmic microwave background radiation. While in the mid 1960s, two astronomers, Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson, were trying to tune into the microwave signals transmitted from the Milky Way. Their radio antenna kept picking up a continuous weak fizz, so they rebuilt the antenna to get rid of the weird noise, but it didn't solve their problem. However, the hiss they wanted to remove was actually the echo of the Big Bang, or the cosmic microwave background radiation. No object older than 13.7 billion years was seen. So around that time, within a tiny fraction of a second, gravity and all the other forces were formed. Protons and neutrons started to form within the first second. Within minutes, these protons and neutrons could fuse and form hydrogen and helium nuclei. After 300,000 years, nuclei could finally capture electrons to form atoms, filling the universe with clouds of hydrogen and helium gas. After around 380,000 years, it left behind a bath of photons. The cosmic microwave background that Penzias and Wilson accidentally detected. And in turn, these became the seeds for the galaxies and galactic clusters we see today. However, traditional Big Bang theory posits that our universe began with a singularity, which is a point of infinite density and temperature whose nature is really difficult for our little brains to understand. However, this may not accurately reflect reality because the singularity idea is based on Einstein's theory of general relativity, so it might be wrong because it doesn't take into account quantum mechanics, which is certainly going to be important.